name is Chidi Ujufo and I'm your co-host for Oscar Watch Us. It's a web series that demonstrates casting can be raceless, classless and fun. I'm going to introduce to you a young guy from Belize, Kareem Ferguson. He has worked across the United States at theatre companies such as Alliance, Pioneer, Guthrie and Penumbra theatre companies. He is the lead in the Lamont Pierre film, talking with a taxman about poetry, in which he plays Theodore based on the character from a poem, Notes from the Underground written by Fyodor Dostoevsky. He was recently nominated as the Best Lead Actor by the NAACP Theatre Awards. I have recently worked with a great actor, Brian Cranston, in the movie Get a Job, which comes out this summer. Now, let's take a look at Kareem Ferguson's monologue from the movie Lincoln. I am glad to see any man free, and if calling a man property or war contraband does the trick, why I caught at the opportunity. Now here's where it gets truly slippery. I use the law allowing for the seizure of property in a war, knowing it applies only to the property of government and citizens of belligerent nations. But the South ain't a nation. That's why I can't negotiate with them. So in fact, if Negroes are property, according to the law, have I the right to take the rebels' property from them if I insist they are rebels only and not citizens of a belligerent country? And slipperier still. I maintain it ain't our actual southern states in rebellion, but the rebels living in those states, the states which laws remain in force the states which laws remain in force. That means that since it states as laws that determine whether Negroes can be sold as slaves, as property, the federal government doesn't have a say in that. At least not yet. Then since Negroes can be sold as slaves, hence property, hence my war powers allow me to confiscate them as such. So I confiscated them. But if I'm a respecter of states' rights, how can I legally free them with my proclamation as I've done, unless I'm canceling states' rights? I felt the war demanded it. I felt my oath demanded it. I felt right with myself. I hope it was legal to do it. I'm hoping still. <laughs>